Hey y'all, uh, I was having a hard time finding a wheel uh, like um, that was retractable that you normally put on here and it's it spring loaded and it comes back down and it goes back up on its own but I couldn't find it because I got wide skis and I've got 10 inches pretty much wider here because you got ski skins on. So what I did is I went to uh, a company, Tarek, and um, I basically bought the longest bolt, which I think it was the 180 millimeter. And uh, because I got wide skis, I ended up filling this out with about, uh, in total, 26 washers. I've got two on this side, um, one smaller one and one that I bought. And these ones that are wider I bought. And I put the small washer that came with the bolt also as a as a 26 count and then this particular washer here as you can see it's tapered it's uh, thinner here and wider at the top and uh, with this installation I took off this bolt and because I had wider skis you can see here there's a there's already a dip in here there's already a dip so I just ended up sanding it out a little bit of sanding like this just by hand you can use a rotating sander whatever it is you want I kept my skis on because it was easier to eventually put these wheels on as you can see it's threaded inside and uh, all I got to do now is I lift my ski and I, I start threading it on I've got way longer than I need. They say you only need three eighths, but because I needed a longer boat and I was clearing the, the sea skins 10 inch wide, I decided to do it this way. And I, I got longer, a longer ways to, to screw in, but as um, you can see, the reason I put so many washers is so I can be, I have a full support um, in here from here to here, completely supported. If I had a gap here, I have a feeling it wouldn't be as strong. So I'll let you know uh, how it works out um, to see uh, the other one's done. And I'll see if it works. I'll put a little short, I'll add a little short video on here. Cheers.